been my lovely it's welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well welcome to the new subs and if you're new here and you like my content please consider subbing um so guys today's reading is who will try to come back into your life and why okay um so for group one we have the card hopefully you can see them we have the card the watchtower of the north and it says winter for group two we have the cloak and it says concealment and for group three, we have the Watchtower of the South, Summer. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force anything. If you feel it's not your pile, choose another pile. And um, yeah, I'll see you at your groups. Hey, group one. So if you chose the Watchtower of the North, Winter. Now, with this card, okay, what I'm getting for you guys is that this person may approach you to come back in winter. So, at the moment, we're in autumn. So, this could happen around winter time. It may even happen when there's snow falling as well, because if you see there's snow on this uh, tower here. Now, I'm looking at this as well, guys, because I don't really like to read from the book often. <laughs> um, tower is usually a shocking discovery or a shocking surprise um so i feel like this may be a big surprise to you so maybe you feel like you you, you thought you were never gonna hear from this person again or see this person again maybe it's even the fact i don't know why that's coming through the audacity that this person would reach out to you again but what i'm seeing here it's going to be quite hard for you to face this person or or to deal with this person because it may literally open up a load of old wounds for you, group one. And Spirit wants you to know you, you will survive anything because of the wisdom. And, you know, we, we gain wisdom as we get older, and especially when we come across certain types of people, that, that gives us the wisdom to, you know, know how to deal with that person or not what to put up with anymore. Um... But there is something here that maybe this person wants to lay things on the table with you, you know, maybe coming clean about something. But let's have a look. Let's get into the tarot cards. I am going to put it up there. Okay, let's try these first. So, tap me into group one, please, Spirit, the energy of group one, and tell me who will try to come back into group one's life. Who will try? So, this is not who will. This is someone who's going to try. Who will try? Oh, God. To come back into... Okay. Seven of Cups. Uh, the Three of Cups. Oh, okie dokie. This is a friend. Look at this. Wow. The devil energy, number 15, toxic witches. And look at this. Look at the way she's sitting there. She's being left out of a conversation. So you know that saying that's coming through, and I always tell my daughter this, and I don't know whether some of you guys believe in this saying, but I, I do. It's like two's company, three's a crowd. There's always one that gets left out of the friendship group. Because if you actually look at the this card, you see them, you know, um, celebrating, enjoying each other's time, you know, maybe meeting for coffee, what have you. But it, what I'm getting from this for you guys, maybe there is a, something here to do with a disability because she is in a wheelchair. So maybe, you know, there were things that you couldn't do and these two would leave, you know, go off and leave you out or this friend would leave you out and not invite you. I don't know why I'm getting like crippling anxiety for group one. You know, maybe you don't like crowded places. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really like crowded places. I'll go if I have to, but I freaking hate it. Um, so what I'm seeing here, okay, right, I'll read the cards, but I do like to go with my own um, intuition. So anyway, it says not every day, not sorry, every day, not every great option you're given will be a great option for you, right? So, Seven of Cups as well, group one, can actually talk about abusive relationships as well, so maybe these, these, this friend or this friendship group took advantage of you. I've got a funny feeling there was a friendship group here, but there is the one person that wants to come back because 
maybe they didn't see the value in you at the time you know maybe they've had a falling out with the other the other friend and they realize that you were the genuine friend but I feel like you're the type of person now that will not give this person the time of day so anyway this is about options choices that we make and it could be this friend is is looking at themselves and thinking you know I made the wrong choice here I chose the wrong friend so the three of cups like I said it's going out, it's celebrating with your friends, it's going out having a good time, you know, even if you're not going out having a good time, you know, you, you had a close-knit friendship here, but something went wrong, where I said about you being left out of be, maybe being invited somewhere, um, maybe even out of conversations, you know, when I said about abusive friendships or relationships, I mean, this is part of abuse as well, because you know what you're doing when you're letting that person sit there and you're freaking ignoring them. But it says, be cautious of those who take more than they give. And there it is right there. I think we've all had that one friend or those two friends that you constantly are giving to them and they literally give nothing back. Not that we do things to get anything back, but, you know, like a crisis or we need a shoulder to like lean on. They're not there because these people come with. Uh, conditions whereas your love and your friendships were unconditional so I feel like you're the type of person that these this friend leaned on quite a lot and maybe they're not getting that support from their other friends so anyway be careful with this because the devil energy is all about toxic relationships toxic friendships um control mind games manipulation um we can go on so we do have Capricorn. So. Hmm. So this is the who. Why? I think I've already said why they want to come back. But let's have a look. Why is this person going to try and come back into group one's life? Okay. Judgment. Guilty. Guilty. In reverse, that's guilty feelings. Um, this person feels bad, so maybe they do have a conscience. It's up to you what you do, group one. I'm never going to tell you what to do. Sometimes I will have a bit of a, you know, but it is, it is at the end of the day, your choice. They want forgiveness. But group one, be very careful of people these two cards be very careful of certain people that have done something to to you or I whoever like myself whatever these certain people tend to come back for you to relieve the guilt because it could be this person don't sleep very well at night you know maybe they, they, they this plagues on their their psyche here where it, it you know you'll pop up and um even though they've tried to move on they can't so sometimes the person will literally come back for you to forgive them because then it leaves their conscience and then they can sleep better at night but it's all up to you we, we talk about forgiveness on on tarot we do but you don't have to tell this person that you forgive them we can forgive them from afar so tell me about judgment in reverse why tell me more about the whys of this person trying to come back into group we have the magician in reverse. Mm, interesting. Hmm. Okay, we're a bit out of shot there, so I do apologise. Things will go back to normal after Halloween. Tell me about the magician in reverse. Why? Oh, oh. Yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> I wasn't going to take this many, but I thought, let me have a look, because the first card is death. And then I'll see the five of wands. Right, so we have death, we have the six of swords, page of wands. This is communication, by the way. Then we have the five of wands, and we have the seven of pentacles. 
reason why they want to come back is literally what I said. And look at this. This is crazy. You've got the tower as well on the back of the deck. And I said about this being the tower. This person's experienced the tower moment with, with maybe if there was a group of friends here that you knew. Um, they've maybe had the same medicine, okay? Been given the same medicine. It could literally be guilty feelings. But anyway, we have death here. So it says, tidy up your life, make space for something better. But the thing is, we all know that death is endings. It can be a very painful ending. It could be, you know, someone moving on from, from a friendship group. So it could be, this person feels bad because the way things ended between you two and they want to make things right. But I'm seeing this person ha has had a falling out with a group of friends because the five of wands is is an argument. It's conflict. It's a group of people that are constantly bickering and fighting. There may have even been a physical fight, but there's been a falling out here and this person has now realised a group of friends that they chose. I feel like this was your best mate, even a childhood friend group one. This friend of yours has realised that um, these these friends weren't really friends. They were just toxic. So, they want to make right by you. You know, they want forgiveness. The Six of, the six of Swords are, is, is trying to smooth things over, you know. Um, apologies, forgiveness. But Spirit is saying to you, Group 1, sometimes... People have to go through these these situations here to finally wake up to what they had in the first place. How that makes sense. So it was like this this was an inevitable to happen, you know. Maybe you saw it happening. Maybe you told this friend, you know, watch your back, whatever. So they want to make things right with you. They want to make peace with you. Page of Wands is communication. So you are going to be receiving communication from this person. The person's energy here is someone that is very outgoing. So you could have been the introverted friend. So very outgoing, you know, um, likes to talk a lot. Maybe a bit of a gossip. But I see them bringing a peace offer in here, but it's it's whether you want it or not. Hmm. This person is going to take action towards you because they want to heal the past. And it's like here they're saying here, okay, I choose you. I made a mistake. You can forgive this person. Like I said, you don't have to. It's up to you. But this energy, this energy just saw their, this group of friends as just being such hard work. It was like too much effort. Whereas I feel like with you, group one, it was so much more easier with you. You know, you weren't hard work. You were chilled. So we have um, Scorpio. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. So yeah, this is, they're going for a towel moment. Their relationships are just falling apart. It could literally be here as well. Like I said, this is going to be quite a shock to you that this person has the audacity to ask for forgiveness, you know, starting again. I don't know how they're going to try and do this, though. Let me ask Spirit. Let's be nosy. How is this uh, energy... How are they going to try and come back, Spirit? What what are their act what actions are they going to take towards Group One? Oh my goodness me! I'm just going to reach out, maybe by text, email, phone call. I think it might may literally be an email. Uh, not an well, I said an email. I was meant to say text. Eight of Wands is online communication, or even verbal communication. Maybe even the message may actually say to you, "I'm really sorry." For what I did. Asking for forgiveness. That is justice. And it's like that. It says stick to your truth. And everything will be fine. You group one. This is a message for you from spirit. Do not let this person sway you. In a, way, in, in a certain way of thinking. 
you know, maybe there's been a lot of time that's gone by and maybe this person, like I said, you're the introvert, the, the extrovert. Maybe this person was the type of friend that would literally push you into things that you didn't want to do and just to keep peace, you would do it. You know, we've all, we've all done that as well. I'm guilty of doing that when really you want to say to your friend, you know what, sod off, I don't actually want to do it. Um, so do not let this person tell you otherwise that like gaslighting or projecting or that kind of thing because i've got a funny feeling this energy is a type of person that will try to do that so then it minimizes their behavior or their actions towards you um so spirit saying here stick to your truth and everything will turn out fine so remember that group um one you are going to be receiving communication from this person it's come out twice now temperance that's all about peace. That's making peace with someone. And I don't see them doing it in a way of... Um, they're going to come in like very, very peaceful, you know, at first. Let's get some advice from Spirit for this. So we have Sagittarius and Libra. What advice would you give group one? Six of Cups. See, look. Six of Cups is a reconciliation. It's all about... So it says, give yourself compassion you were never given. So should you be giving this person compassion? Should you be giving this person forgiveness? Because I feel like with this for you, Group 1, Spirit is asking you to put yourself first because you deserve it. Because maybe this person never showed you any compassion when you were friends. But Six of Cups is reminiscing about the past, the history that you have with that person. You know, you've shared a lot of good memories with this person. You know, you may still have a lot of photos. Maybe even look back on those photos. Um, but this can be a childhood friend as well. But it's up to you. Let's have a look. I feel like Spirit's saying it's up to you, Group 1. Tell me about Six of Cups. What's this advice? I'm going to take them like I am going to take. I'm going to take them like that. So we've got the Two of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Hmm. I feel like with you, Group 1, you may be too fearful of going, like opening that door again. Maybe it took you quite a while to get over this person, you know, and heal and continue with your life. And for them to come back again, maybe there's no trust here now. You know, maybe you will say to them, look, I do forgive you, it's forgotten, blah, 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 but I don't really want to open that door anymore. You know. And it could literally be because this person may be a bit like, you know, it's like I said, like power crazy, you know, controlling. Maybe even a bit narcissistic. It's up to, you know, take what resonates. And it literally could be that this person has no integrity as well, at group one, and you don't you don't really want that. Three of Wands, this is someone that is returning from the past when it comes out like this or reversed. So this is a past person returning, which this is what this uh, reading is all about. Someone that you haven't seen for a very long time. And I feel like what Spirit has to is trying to tell you, Group 1, is basically you're going to have to face this, okay? You can ignore it or you can just face it head on, get it off your chest. Maybe it'll bring you a bit of peace. But the choice is yours. So we do have um, Gemini Libra Aquarius as well. So let's get some Oracle cards for you. I don't even know what to use for you guys, but anyway. So for Group 1... person who's trying to come back into group one's life entrapment hmm don't get trapped by the same like yeah don't don't 
I don't know whether this person's going to come forward and try and use the sympathy vote for, you know, maybe because that's, you know, they could lean on you and you were that type of person that they could go to with all their problems. But don't get trapped into this person's crap again, okay? Because it could be a trap, you know, of this person hasn't changed. Phoenix rising. Yeah, see, look, it could literally be this person rising from the ashes, as I see it. It's like someone returning. It could be that you've changed as well. So this person may have a bit of a shock how much you've come along in the years that you may not have spoken to this person or seen them. Family and tribe. This is the thing, what Spirit is saying to you, Group 1. You have your family... You have your tribe already. It's whether it's up to you whether you want to let this person back in. And you know, if you need advice, go to your family and your tribe. Beauty. Yeah, you're someone that's beautiful inside and out, group one. And I feel like that's what this person now realizes. But then we do have, we tend to attract the darkness, you know. So protect yourself there from people like this. And then we've got sexuality. Maybe this is what the problem was. Maybe there was a there was jealousy here, group one. You know, maybe there was something here where you were very beautiful, you know, but you had sexuality that goes with it, you know, and you can't you can't really make sexuality up. Some people just uh, like Marilyn Monroe, okay. She was she was just the whole package. Um she just had something about her. And I mean, you lo love Marilyn Monroe. You know what I'm on about. That kind of thing where you've... It's like the Queen of Wands, this energy here. And there could have been jealousy here. You know, maybe this person wasn't really... I'm not putting anyone down. Maybe they just, you know, didn't look like you. I'm trying to say in a nice way. So it doesn't come across as being bitchy. But and that could have been why this person may have said and done things to you that was, you know, not very nice. Right. So for group one. Driven. New venture, divinely guided, fulfilling your purpose. So look, this may be divinely guided to maybe you know sometimes it's got to come back full circle i did do a reading a while ago what's coming back full circle so you may want to have a look at that i don't know where that is on the list but anyway i did do one and this could be this person may need an you know maybe an, maybe they go for an awakening maybe they need to do this it's part of their journey as well but this i feel like this is not finished for you guys but you're you're on a new venture here as well and you're fulfilling your purpose but this person hasn't it's like they're still stuck in the past group one okay spirit group one come on Bloody hell. Okay, so we've got ending completion, big changes, reach for fit, for better things. There you go. This this to you has ended. This, you know, maybe this is the final nail in the coffin, if you know what I mean. When you finally do hear from this person, you can lay it to rest. Because I do feel like it does, even though I'm saying you're moving on, you've moved on, I do feel like there is still hurt here for you, you know, that this person could do this to you. But there is... Like I said about this coming back full circle, this is going to end things for good. It's like completed, it's done, it's finished. Then you've got wisdom. Wow, what did I say at the beginning about you guys have that wisdom to deal with this because of the lessons that you've gone through with this person? So it says learning from experience, good judgment and insight. There it is. And then you've got trapped. Wow, guys, you've got entrapment and trapped again. 
difficult situations, illusions, entanglement, free yourself. So you may be tempted to open the door to this person again because of the history that you both share and you've missed this person. And like Spirit is saying to you, it's up to you, but you need to be aware of the red flags. Watch for what this person is saying. Maybe, you know, maybe there's still a part of you that would just fold and let this person put all the blame on you, but, but don't let them do that. Um, so be careful, it could be, diff it can be, oh, I feel like it will be difficult for you, but this is coming with illusions. Don't think this person's changed at all, okay? You have, they ain't. So let's have a look. So for group one, please, spirit. So you've got real treasure, hold your boundaries and guard your precious time. Oh my goodness. Oh, but there you go. Keep your boundaries in place with this person, group one. And your time is precious. And this is so what I was trying to say at the beginning. It, it literally could have been to the point of you would drop everything to be there for this person. But when it came to you, this person was nowhere around. You need to be aware of who you're giving your time to. I don't think you guys are silly anyway. Book of Shadows. You are empowered by shining a light on the darkness. Right, there it is again. You, let's see, you're, you guys are, have come a long way. You're not as, right, don't take this in a bad way. Group one, you're not as gullible as you was back then, okay? Your eyes have been open. The wisdom thing I'm talking about here is, is, is like up there. So basically, this card is saying that the light would be shining on the darkness. So, this person can come back going, oh, I've changed and, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And it's, it's BS. You'll be able to see through this person's bullshit. Say <laughs> it like that. Okay, let's get a few more. Clever moves. You need to be diplomatic and find discreet ways to navigate. Okay, be a fox. Foxes are very clever. Foxes are very sly. You need to be in this energy when it comes to dealing with this person. Group one. And, and group one, I'm just going to tell you this because I've had a few comments the past few days about having like... I do apologise, certain ways I speak is the way I speak, it comes across as like, especially if you're not from the UK, it can come across as being like taken, you know, not the right way, <laughs> and when I'm talking about like your group, I'll say group one, when I'm very adamant about an energy that comes through, I will be very firm in who that is. So I'm telling you now, group one, this is an ex-friend. This is not an ex-lover. It's not an ex-colleague. It's an ex-friend. It can be an ex-relative, like a cousin, sister, brother. You know, you need to take what resonates. That's why I always say that in the intro. And for what doesn't. So if this is not, if you're thinking this might be an ex-partner, this is not your pile, Okay choose another pile so okay right let's carry on just wanted to get that out of there you know because like cousins our siblings they're like our best friends if you're not killing each other <laughs> oh my god fights that me and my brother used to get into yeah i love him though <sighs> we're still like that but anyway <laughs> Fairy blessings. Make a wish, see it through, and your wish will come true. Okay, Spirit's asking you to make a wish, and that will be granted. So I don't know why that's come through, but that's come through for you, group um, one. So get wishing. And then you've got light the way. Your leadership skills are being called upon to guide others, and that's the thing, right? Sometimes we need to... Um, how, can I, like, how can I explain this? So basically, you could be teaching this person a lesson in in life to not go around treating people like shite, okay? So we lead by example. 
So this could literally be you showing this person, this is how it should have been, this is how it's going to be. And it may wake this person up to maybe never taking advantage of someone that you should have treasured. You know, I had a friend of 15 years. We don't talk anymore. I haven't done since 2016. It wasn't easy because it is like losing your right arm. It, takes, it took me years to get over that friendship that I had to do what was right for me because it was getting to the point of, like I said, about very selfish energy, you know, like you're there for them. And then when something shiny and new comes along, and I'm not a jealous person, I'm very, very chilled. I share my friends. I don't give a crap. But when something new came along, shiny, other friends, it was like they forgot about who I was, you know. It, I'm not going to go into detail, but anyway. So, yeah, it was time. I let it go for a couple of years and it just didn't get better, you know. So this is what I'm seeing here. And I would never open that door again to this person. But that might be the Aquarius in me. Once Apparently once we're done, we're done. So anyway, so let's get you an angel number, my loves. But you know, forgiveness is key. All right, so we've got 787. Angel of Reflections, Sandophon. So Sandophon delivers your prayers to the divine stay grounded and remember that miracles often come in unexpected forms a prayer a grounding and miracles now you do have that wish card there as well uh group one so maybe there's some kind of miracle maybe some of you do want this person back in your life but there is warnings coming with this person that they haven't changed but going forward using that wisdom that knowledge that you've gained from from this per you know from this situation here it should hopefully you know, help you on your journey, okay? So let's get your question, my loves. Any question you want to ask, ask Spirit now. So for group one. Okay. Not that many, Spirit. Quiet time. Spend quiet time alone to freely and honestly examine our life. So spend time alone to contemplate on the question that you asked, group one. So my love, thank you so much for staying and watching. I do appreciate you all. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help the video. And I know that you guys like it as well. You can even give it a thumbs down if you want. <laughs> but anyway, my loves, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey, group two, so if you chose the cloak, concealment, very interesting card, because when this flew out for you, your pile was like, okay, straight away what I got with this person um, who will try and come back into your life is that this person is hiding in the shadows, okay, someone who still watches you, so if you've got social media, whatever, they may even ask around about you, so this person is still in your in your business but you may not be aware but i do believe you guys are aware you know psychic intuition that kind of thing um this person's been hiding something from you so maybe this person ghosted you and just sitting all that card there ghosted you just up and left and didn't tell you what what happened and they're going to try and come back maybe when this person left your life they didn't tell you everything but this energy is, is going to find the strength to come out of the shadows and literally reveal themselves to you. This could be someone um, that may you may have met in passing, but I don't know. Let's have a look. So I'll just leave that there with the other one. So we're going to find out who is trying to come uh, who will try to come back into your life and why and then we'll just go from there so tap me into group two please spirit group two's energy here who will tr um who will try to come back into group two's life oh, that was quick a four of swords tell me who will try and come back into group two's life can we like slow down an empress in reverse very interesting Okay, tell me about this Empress in Reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. 
So it's a family member. We have the Five of Cups as well. Give me a clear, me a clearer message here, Spirit. Who is this Empress in Reverse? Make it very clear, please, Spirit. I'm not fighting. Queen of Wands. Justice. Queen of Wands and the Empress in Reverse. Just bear with me, guys. Judgment. A little bit more. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. I was, like, getting a bit like, hang on a minute, who is this? Because I thought maybe it could be a mother figure. It could be. But because the lovers is there, I take this as a... Um, a partner, but I'm seeing this as maybe you guys may have been a third party here and you cut things off with this person. They may have already been involved with someone. Look, because multiple people watch these readings, I get multiple messages come through, so we could be looking at it as you were the third party, you cut things off with this person, or they cut things off with you because I said to you, it was like this person just got up and just left didn't say nothing and maybe you've been wondering why you know why did this person ghost me for the other side of you guys this could be an ex who stepped out of the relationship was unfaithful because that is the empress in reverse empress in reverse is unfaithfulness okay so table resonates please and just chuck out is what's not yours um, so this person that will try and come back into your life and this person has the audacity, like I'm getting a bit peed off with this energy and I haven't even started yet. Because of the way they did ghost you and abandon you, you know, just like up and left. The reason why I feel like they want to come back is because there's something that they feel remorseful about. So it could be that they want to apologise. Having guilty feelings, you know, I feel bad what how I treated group. Did I say group one? Group two. And I want to make things right with them. Because what I'm seeing here is like this energy here. It, the Ten of Pentacles is family. It's the life that we've built with someone, you know. But I'm seeing this person made a really huge mistake by choosing the person that they chose to be with. Because this is not going the way they thought it was going to go. It's like this person's not in a good place. They're exhausted. Tired of the person that they're with or were with they've made a bad choice here a bad investment with like they they they've oh my god they've gone through some kind of disaster here so it could be that their person may have been unfaithful to them may have abandoned them there's something here this person's in the shadows here you haven't seen this person for a while, though. It's been a, been a long time. They still look at, look at your pictures, okay? They still see you as being so beautiful or handsome, you know, whatever you resonate with, okay? They, they still find you very, very attractive, but they want forgiveness, Be careful here, guys. Let's find out why. So we have Gemini. We have Libra. We have Leo Aries Sagittarius. Okay, why is this person going to try and come back into group two's life? Why? Oh. Because they've been hurt. Why? But why group two? Tell me about nine of wands. Oh, my God. This is someone from your past. Yeah, communication. Same thing with group one. Look at this. This this person ghosted you. What? They just up and left your life like without a word. Like. And I feel like. Look. Sometimes we don't want to hear it because if someone can do this to us, they're not really someone that we should be really wasting our time thinking about but we do okay 
we do. <laughs> but I feel like they, because of what they did, it's it's making them feel bad, okay? They feel guilty. And it's like they're wanting forgiveness here. Maybe what's happened is they've had this awakening here because of everything that's gone wrong in their life. Like there's these regrets of I should have chosen group two and, you know, and now I really regret not choosing group two. I also regret not speaking to group two about this and just leaving and not communicating, you know. So you're, you've been left for all these years. I feel like it's been years. It may not have. You take what resonates, okay? Of Why? Where did this person go? What happened? You know, maybe that you did find out that they had someone else. But I'm seeing them, like, they may have been married. They may have been involved with someone that had their children as well. So this has been something that they've held on to, the fact that this still brings them pain. Six of Cups is the reconciliation. They want to reconcile with you. This is someone from your past, very, very strong message here for you guys page of wands is someone that is coming forward to communicate okay they're coming up with a plan i want to ask spirit how they're going to plan this like i did in group one and the five of pentacles is like i said they're holding on to them ghosting you and just leaving your life without you know a bye tell me spirit how is this person planning on trying to come back into group two's life? How are they going to do this? What are they going to do? The Knight of Swords in reverse. See, now I'll be telling you that we're taking action right now. They're too chicken shy at the moment to come forward. Hence the concealment. Um... <clears throat> maybe they feel like yeah do you know what group two i feel like because this was so long ago you're already settled in your life you've already you know met someone moved on with someone and what hurts this person is the missed opportunity that they they could, you know, the missed opportunity, basically. They, this is what they missed out on. But you're not telling me how they're going to be planning on doing it. So that that is taking action, but at the moment they're not taking action. So tell me more, Spirit. How is this person going to try? Two of Wands. Let's see if I come backwards and forwards about it. What action will they take towards group two? God, can you calm down? So we do have the emperor. This is someone who's very mature now, you know, could be a father. This is someone who's not let go. That still hold, has been holding on to you. So maybe you guys, if you've watched readings, like even readings that I've done where I, you know, readings of who is still holding on to your energy, who is pulling on your energy. Um, this is that person for some of you. There's still, there's a, there's a hold here. It's about finding the courage and they will find that inner courage as well as the external courage as well as the strength um and this is all about being brave talk about this emperor how are they going to take action ace of pentacles page of cups queen of cups this was a young, I feel like this was a young, young love. Some people, you know, when, like your first love. Spirit is saying here is this person, like I said, could be, they could be going through a divorce, guys. They're going through something very bad in their life. And I feel like once this is all cleared up, 
this is when they will reveal themselves to you because we do have the page of cups again and that is all about communication it's expressing how you feel to this person like to you guys um It's not very it's not really giving me much information it's just that once they go in once they they may move or change jobs or just start building their life again this is when they're going to come out of the woodwork because the queen of cups is love i don't feel like this person's ever got over you so cancer scorpio pisces It's like I feel a desperation with this person. It's it's like um how can I explain what I'm feeling from this energy here to you guys? It's like if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna do it. Let's get some advice from spirit here. What advice would you give group two? There's something here that person's scared you know no one likes rejection i mean in the way they did this to you i wouldn't blame you really if you just totally just looked at the message and was like sod you <laughs> i'm gonna you know not out of spite just like really ace of wands this is a new romance. If some of you are not in a relationship, this can be a new beginning, a new romance. It's a second chance. We do have two aces here. You're being given a second chance to either be with this person or to get closure from this person. Look at that, the moon. The moon is all about revealing of secrets. And I said to you, this person is hiding from you hiding something from you so like i said at the beginning is it because this person just up and ghosted you and you didn't really have closure you didn't you didn't really get any i don't know information or this person didn't tell you anything and this is what spirit is asked like telling you here is the second chance that's coming um is these these uh secrets these things being revealed but you know what? I'm wondering whether this person, you dream about this person. Hmm. It's not really giving me much here, group two. Of, of how they're going to take action it is delayed they're not doing anything right now right okay let's get some oracle cards i do want to get where are they um because this person the way they just up and left i want to use these cards because it gives us insight oh sorry guys i've just um knocked you there <laughs> Right, so tell me why why this um, energy here ghosted group two. Unavailable, there it is. I know I had to make a decision, but I wasn't in a good place to do it at the time. I hope you can understand and forgive me. And I'm saying about forgiveness here, and I said at the beginning that this person may have already been involved with someone. Or it could have literally been... Like, there's, no, I don't really talk about this, but I'm 51 now, and this happened to me years and years ago. It was my first love, okay? I thought it was going places, and um, it still hurts, actually. I'm 51. I mean, this happened when I was, like, 18, but I'd known them for years. And, like, anyway, so this... This per this my first love went on holiday, you know, not thinking anything of it, and this person came back married. So they were already seeing someone slightly older than me. Um 
and it was just the way that the, the the chicken shit way that they did it you know and it was like I never really got the answers even though I saw him afterwards I never asked because I'm I'm very proud <laughs> and yeah so th this is what I'm seeing here it's like I know from my experience that he yeah, obviously had to make a decision and he chose that person but I was unawares that's what I'm seeing here for you guys it's like this anyway it's really hurtful you know that's actually still quite painful to talk about for me and I'm, I'm old now <laughs> but anyway insecurity didn't think someone like you would be interested in me and what did I say about you you being the queen of wands very very beautiful you you turn head you have this thing this thing about you you know and maybe this person felt like the safer option was the empress in reverse let's have a look but I just find that's a bloody excuse cheating my person made me cut you off I got caught right there you go first thing I said at the beginning so look I don't even need to go any further with this and with these cards because this is what I said you know this person may have already been in a relationship but was you were the the third party here you know the other woman or the other man and you weren't aware of it I feel like you were an innocent party in all this group too yeah right Hang on, because I am mixing it up with each pile because, you know, every pile is different. So let's see what they've got to say. I haven't used these in a while. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. Now, that's not now. This was when you guys were, like, like I said, this is a long time ago. And... At the time, them just walking away from you, they didn't really, it didn't really phase them at the time. But now I don't know why they feel so guilty. Is it because their life is a mess and now they're thinking back to you and you were the better choice, the better option, whatever. You're not an option. Um, so, yeah, at the time, I don't think they did feel guilty. I am, I am not sure. I can meet your expectations. The pressure is too much for me. So, yeah, at the time, they, they couldn't. And then I know that you may f you may f not feel for me as I feel for you. So there it is. This could be why they're fearful coming back because, you know, maybe so long has gone past and it's like, would group two feel that way about me like they used to? I mean, would you give someone like this a second chance? Because I know I bloody well wouldn't. Wow, rejecting you was protecting myself. I was being selfish. Yes, well, we could see that. I am distracting myself to avoid thinking of you, so keeping busy. Yeah. And then you have become too difficult for me to handle. That's a big turn off. So maybe at the time, maybe you did become difficult. Maybe you did start questioning this person. So group two, please, spirit person trying to come back into group two's life see now this is a reading of trying to come back and your reading not so much group one was totally different but yours is they're trying to but they've still got quite a lot going on here so anyway finality farewells leave behind closure so maybe this is something that's very final for you you know you've you've uh but that's what, no, because this is what I'm saying to you guys. You didn't get the closure. So maybe this is something that will bring you closure that you can finally say, you know what, bye. You know, conflict, clashing differences, incompatibility. So it could be going through conflict here. I don't feel like this has anything to do with you. Second chance. Wow reconciliation making amends opportunity and look we've had that a couple of times in your reading they do want a second chance they do want to reconcile and the last one we have depth awareness impotent importance and value so you know we could be looking at that as um 
being more aware because I said this person has matured and now they value you. Look at this. On the back of the deck, we have rejection. So abandoned, dismissed in irrational fear. And this is what I'm on about, about the courage, them having to try and find the courage because maybe they are so fearful that you will just reject them. Um, and it could be that, you know, I said at the beginning as well, you guys were abandoned by this person. That's like they didn't even, I, I feel like they just cut you off. That's just so cruel. Oop. Two... So we have missing, someone leaving your life, dodged problems and uncertain. So this is what they did. They left your life. They went missing, basically. I keep hitting you guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, it could be spirit saying you dodged, a pro uh, uh, you dodged a bullet here, basically. Authority, achieving mastery, in charge, consulting a higher power. So maybe this person is, you know, maybe they are consulting a higher power. This could be you, though. You're in charge. You've grown. Open doors, free access, opportunity, warm reception, generosity. So maybe you would open the door to this person. Maybe you would be welcoming. And then we've got decisions, many choices, best options, thinking it through. We've seen that already. This person is just like looking at like how I can approach this. But I'm telling you now, group two, you, this person is just all I keep hearing is in the shadows watching you. Yeah, very interested in your life, this person. And I feel like they've been doing it for a long time. I don't feel like this is this has just happened. So, you know, you've got the moon there. And I said about the intuition here. I feel like you already know that this person does watch you. So anyway, let's get your an angel number for group two, please, spirit. Oh, wow. 888 eight, eight, angels prosperity aerial aerial's appearance heralds a phase of prosperity embrace the abundance coming your way but remember to be grateful as gratitude multiplies wealth and unseen in unseen ways abundance wealth and gratitude that's such a lucky number so if you want more on that google that so for group two so ask any question group two anything you want so let's get going <clears throat> so you've got a few years from now so it may take some time but your efforts will not go unnoticed so my loves thank you so much for staying and watching i do appreciate you all if you don't mind giving the video a thumbs up or even a thumbs down you know so they'll know that you like it or you dislike it <laughs> just ignore me um but yeah anyway guys wherever you are you have a beautiful day much love hey group three so if you chose the watchtower of the south summer so with this card straight away for you guys, group three, this is someone from the past, an old lover that is going to try and come back. OK, that's what this card means. It means a lot of other things as well. But from what I'm seeing here, it could happen in the summer months when this person tries to come back. Um, this may actually be something quite exciting for you guys. And so maybe you really do want this person to come back. Um, so let's have a look. We're going to find out who this is and then we're going to find out why. So take me into group three, please, spirit, and tell me who will try and come back into group three's life. Who will try? Oh, six of swords. Tell me about six of swords. Who will try and come back into group three's life? Can we calm down? We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. We have the high priestess in reverse. And we have the two of pentacles in reverse. And we have the Five of Cups. Interesting. Bear with me.
this is someone at the moment that is holding back from approaching you and the eight of pentacles it, it it, spirit is saying that this person lacks confidence at the moment to to come forward okay i don't know why i'm stuttering i don't ever stutter it could be this person's nerves but spirit wants you to know so like i said at the beginning with that main card it could be something here that you've been waiting for you've been hoping that this person will come back some of you may not, but I feel like some of you really do want to see this person again. And Spirit is saying the way it is at the moment is the way it has to be right now. This person still has a bit of a way to go to maybe sort themselves out a bit here. But where I said about this person lacking confidence, okay, and um, they're holding back at the moment with a high priestess in reverse... And then we've got the two of pentacles. And this is someone who feels very overwhelmed in regards when it comes to you. But then again, it could be that the, the stage that they're in their life group two is they, they may have made some bad decisions in life. And at the moment, spirit is trying to protect you and keep you away from this person until they smooth things out. It could be something internally. I feel like it's something going on internally with this person. I want to clarify that five of cups. Bear with me. Tell me about the five of cups because this is remorse, regret. Tell me about the five of cups, please, spirit. Tell me about the five of cups. Seven of pentacles in reverse. The three of one. This person's a bit um. All over the place. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. So what I'm seeing here straight away, this is someone returning from the past. Some of that may have, may have been travelling, may have been abroad or at a distance from you. But they are returning. But there's something here that they still have to sort out within themselves. Maybe their own personal life as well. Yeah, I feel like this is something to do with maybe a bad decision or a bad financial situation that they're in at the moment and they know not coming back would be a right choice at the moment. You know, when you don't want to drag someone into it, maybe they want to be in a better place. I'm asking why in a minute anyway. Clarifying the Five of Cups, this regret and this remorse is the fact that they made a bad choice, you know, made bad decision, okay? They, they didn't, I don't know, they regret not choosing you. They regret not staying. Okay. At the time, this is, at least they're being honest. At the time when they were with you, group three, they weren't happy enough. And they want you to know here, it wasn't anything to do with you. It was the fact that they weren't happy with themselves. And like I said at the beginning here with the high priestess, it literally is with the six of swords. Spirit wants you over here, you know, over here where you're, you're okay. You're not being dragged into this. And this person's over here still having to clean up some messes maybe do some internal work here with themselves it's just basically this person sorting themselves out so maybe at the time when you met this person it wasn't the right time but it's coming back around right now let's um check why why is this why would this person try and come back into group freeze life the knight of cups the hangman the Nine of Cups, wow. Well, that's, that's nice. 
the Knight of Cups is Prince Charming. It's someone who's in love, who ha has genuine feelings. You know, they still harbour those feelings for you. It's it's never gone away. They've, you know, even though they may have like, you know, the Hangman talks about sacrifices that we have to make in life, and sometimes the other person gets hurt because of those sacrifices. And I do feel like this person does regret having to do what they did, but. You know, they wouldn't be a, a, who they are now. You know, they're still going through some stuff, like I've said. But they are looking at things differently here in regards to you. You are wish fulfillment, by the way. I feel like this person is really wishing and hoping that when they come forward to communicate to you, because this is communication, and they're hoping that you will have an understanding and maybe Spirit is asking you to maybe look at things from this person's point of view as well, because some of you may be upset, which is totally understandable. So we do have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let's see what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. Okay, so group three, please, Spirit. How will this, what is this person's actions towards group three? What will their actions be? What will their actions be towards group three? So we have judgment, the truth. This is communication. So they're going to communicate with you. Six of Cups. Every power's had the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is reconciliation. Still holding on to the past, holding on to that person from the past, reminiscing, remembering the good times, the things that you did together. Still looking at maybe old photographs as well because this is the photograph card. And, you know, you guys may have had a fight the last time they saw you, you know, or there may have been tension or, or some kind of conflict this you know maybe that's what they're thinking about as well and there's regret there from this person but what i'm seeing here is doing the right thing now making the right choices in life and like i said they've still got a little bit of a way to go hence why that could be the summer card right but we see this card here is is such a big message to you guys is how they're going to do it is through communication. So it could be like a text message, an email, a phone call, that kind of thing. And they're going to be really honest and open with you. Maybe like, maybe, um, you know, maybe in the past this person wasn't open and honest with you, you know, and they held back on, on being truthful, but they want to be truthful now. They've realised that you are their person. It's whether you want this person. I do feel like you do, group three. Let's get some advice from Spirit. What advice would you give group three? What advice would you give group three? Death. Okay, tell me about death. Tell me a little bit more about death. Three of Cups, reconciliation again, communication again. Oh my goodness me. Spirit's advice to you is you know, yes, it was painful when this ended, okay. But sometimes it's best to just let go of the past and move on. There is a big change coming here, okay? There's even a rebirth. So, like, something that was that was buried, that you thought was done, is about to come back to life again. And this is what we're seeing with this whole reading. So, you know, yes, it was painful, but it's time to move on, okay? There is a renewal here. There is hope for the future with this person. That's if you want it. You don't have to take this person back. You don't have to listen to them. But this is now, an, the, the relationship will be an energy of the Six of Pentacles, and that is equal give and take. This is literally mutual respect, uh, mutual love. You know, it's just where you, you do things together. It's, it's a team. 
it's not one-sided and maybe in the past with this person it was one-sided because this person had a lot of crap going on with their life and you know like I said spirit wanted you out of that and maybe this person thought to themselves I don't want to drag group free into this and maybe it's best that I just move on get my life in you know in order and then maybe hopefully come back if if group three will have me but this is um you know this person may have actually moved away you know relocated somewhere else but this was necessary okay group three that's what spirit wants you to know reconciliation it's like this person is going to maybe ask you out on a date, you know, maybe for a drink, for a meal, sit down and talk, because we do have the Knight of Cups as well. And the Page of Wands is communication. Again, like I said, this, is pers this person is going to communicate to you, maybe ask you out. But you have, Spirit's advice to you is, if you can move on from the past and you can bury the past, this relationship would be totally different. It's like this person has changed. Yes, you may have changed as well, but there is a big change. And it's for the better as well, because I tell you whether it wasn't for the better. There was a lot more fun times ahead with this person. It's whether you want it, even in engagement, if you want it as well. But it's up to you. So let's get you some oracle cards. So group one, the person that will try and come back into group uh, group one... Sorry, guys. Group three. Group three's live. Let's try and come back. Loyalty. Trusting, uh, reliability, and believing. So this energy wants you to know that they are loyal to you. They will, they will be your loyal to you, and you can rely on them. And to please believe in them as well. Shocking, turmoil, un trouble, unexpected. This is like the tower energy. Um, so you may be very shocked from hearing from this person again, and it may put you throw you into a bit of turmoil here, where you know, like, oh God, do I w really want to go down this road with this person again? Can I trust this person? And that's why I feel like you've got the the death card there. Group three. Oh, deja vu, repeated patterns, karmic lessons. So look, you may have had past lives with this person. You may have had to learn some karmic lessons, but I feel like this person is still going through some karmic stuff here. Broken. Shattered, heartbroken, destroyed. Yeah, so if you've... This person, it wasn't easy to cut you off, walk away. And that could be your energy as well. So we have time, waiting cycles and moments. So there it is there. I said this person still has some things that they've got to do. They've got to sort through. Oh, Lord. Do that again. Let's get a couple more. So we have conflict, clashing differences, and incompatibility. So at the time when you knew this person, this could have been the problem. Because I said to you, there may have been something here where you two may have had an argument, but then with the five of wands, we can look at it with this card as well that you guys were just at loggerheads, okay? You were just clashing. And at the time, this wasn't your time to be with this person okay and then now we've got those beautiful cards from the advice from spirit saying this person is in a different place they're changed they're grown they're you know we all grow up eventually not many people do but <laughs> but i see it with this person let's see so group three this person that's trying to come back into group three's life communication wow <laughs> How many times that come out? I need to talk to you and feel you close. I want to reach out to you. Please be open to receiving communication from me soon. Your response will encourage me greatly and I will be waiting to hear back from you. So they're desperate. 
I mean, you've had the Ace of Swords, you've had the Pages, you've had the Knights. This is all communication coming through quite strongly from this person. Best self, love it. I want to be my best self for you. This is actually what I'm saying. They don't want to come back. They don't want to drag you down with their their dramas, okay? So I want to be my best self for you. I am working really hard to level up for you and meet your meet you as your equal. And what did I just say? This has clarified the equal give and take. What I said, like, it's going to be equal. Maybe they felt like with you that you were above them and they, you know, maybe that opens them in security doors on this person, you know, you have your life together and this person didn't okay so anyway um your uh your equal your mirror you've got that mirror there as well i know we will always grow together but i want you to be proud of who i am today there it is there okay daydream it says i often fantasize about you i daydream about you every day i can't get you off my mind all day every day i always wonder what you are doing and how you are feeling about me meet me in your dreams tonight so that we can start making our future together in reality i want to build a strong solid foundation for us oh surprise <laughs> sorry <laughs> anyway I am planning to surprise you soon with the gift from the heart. Get ready to receive something special soon that expresses how I feel about you. The gift could come in any form, in any physical or spiritual realms, and it will be it will bring us closer together. So uh, the romantic gesture, 3D communication or telepathic communication is on its way to you. So pay attention to that. And then we've got karmic battles. Now, you have you noticed your cards are repeating themselves? Tarot, oracle, oracle. So we've got karmic battles again. So it says, I am releasing what no longer serves me. Please be patient with the process of growth and change. As I come into my power, I am making sure that everything is in alignment so I can be with you. I am serving, severing my ties with karmic situations and completing a cycle. Literally what I said at the beginning with the tarot is come out in the oracle as well. This person still got to do some things here. Um, karmic lessons. And it's a good thing, really, group three. I know it's, it might be hurtful. You know, you may have been waiting ages for this person to come back. But sometimes it's best to not get dragged down with this, with these, you know, because it's not really fair. Because it's not your problem. I know we should share our problems with our partners and stuff, but this type of karmic cycles, it's not... Because sometimes I'm a big believer in... Sometimes we can take on other people's karma that's not our own, like our partner's karma. So I hope that made sense. But anyway, let's get you an angel number. So for group three. Okay. Warrior angel Kamel so 676. It says, Kamel stands with you as you fight for justice and fairness. Harness your inner strength and let your convictions lead the way. Justice, strength and conviction. That's a nice angel. So question time, guys. Any question you want to ask, ask away now. So for group three. In December. Okay. So it says, be gentle with yourself and enjoy every step you take so you may observe the little things that easily go unnoticed. So my love, thank you so much for staying and watching. I do appreciate you. And if you don't mind giving the video a thumbs up, um, you know, so I know that you like it and also boost the video as well. And you guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love.